Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make icon box widgets from Elementor clickable. So without this, the only thing that's clickable is the title and the icon within the icon box. So this becomes problematic for accessibility reasons. Uh, you, you got to know exactly where to click if you're a user uh, of these icon boxes and it can be a little frustrating. So anyway, wanted to set out and see if there was a solution for making the entire icon box clickable. So let's go ahead and take a look at the before and then we'll look at the after, okay? So here, if we click on this button here, we're gonna bring up this whole grid here is with, uh, contains icon boxes. And you'll see, you, you kind of hover over these icon boxes and they're not clickable, right? So the only way is if the user knows, and again, for accessibility, if I tab through this, like there's no accessibility, like you can't get to it uh, very easily with just a keyboard. Um, so the, the user has to know, oh, I gotta go all the way and click on the icon or the title here to be able to, to get that link to work. All right, so let's make the entire box clickable, okay? So for that, and, and I'll include this code uh, in, the, in the description of the video. I've got it currently commented out so you can see the before and the after. So I just dropped this in WP code box because I want this to be a global setting. Um, so I've got it, I've got it inserted into a global uh, code snippet. So it applies to the entire website. So wherever you add this icon box widget, it's going to apply. Now, what you could do is you could take this code and you could drop it in like the, the whatever page it is. So I could drop it like somewhere here on this page and make it so it only applies to this page. But the problem with doing that is if you go and add an icon box to another page, then you have to remember to, to manually go and add that code. So it's not very much code, so it's not a lot of uh, performance overhead. You can see it's it's not that much. Most of it's just comments anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this now, and we're gonna refresh this page. Okay, so now we see this entire box here is clickable. So that's awesome. Um, this is one of those things from Elementor that just drives me crazy. Uh, frustrates me about these guys is this has been a request for a very, very long time. It's got countless people. They actually asked people to, to um, upvote it. And if, it's, if the, there was enough requests, they would fix it. Again, this was years ago. And... People did just that. They said, hey, we want this. We need this. Uh, would like to have it, whatever. Then one of the moderators jumps into the and says, uh, use, it, use the call to action widget. Instead, like we're not, we have no plans to do this, even though this takes very little effort. I mean, a few minutes of one of the elementary developers and they could be done with this and knock this off their list. Uh, they just don't seem to care to. It's just one of those really frustrating things, something that doesn't take any amount of time to fix and it could have a big impact. Uh, it's just frustrating. And in addition to, I love the CTA widget from Elementor. I use it a lot. The, one of the other issues though is it, it doesn't have the same styling as icon boxes. They each have their own sets of styles. That's one. Two, uh, the CTA widget, I, I haven't looked, but I'm pretty positive that it is heavier in terms of code. If I was to compare the two, Icon box is a bit simpler in what it can do. CTA widgets have a lot more functionality, um, which is overkill here for what I'm trying to do here, what I'm showing on my screen. I just need an icon box that's click, the entire icon box is clickable. Uh, so again, for them to suggest, and it, it's one moderator in particular that annoys the crap out of me. I'm not gonna mention his name, but it's it's just the the smugness and the just the condescending way they talk to people and it's, Hey, add a CTA widget. We don't have plans to, we don't plan on fixing this. It's just, it's just not a good answer because like I said, those widgets are completely different. Okay. Anyway, I get off my soapbox there. Hopefully you found this useful and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.